We have a heterogeneous mixture of polystyrene pieces and coarse sand. Uh, both are more dense than water, but it's a heterogeneous mixture. We can visibly distinguish the components. What I'm going to do is try and separate these, uh, the plastic from the uh, sand by using exploiting a uh, density change in water. I'm going to add some salt here, sodium chloride, and it's going to make the water more dense. Okay, and as the water becomes more dense, the polystyrene pieces, which are not changing in density, will be become less dense than the water, so they'll float. And the sand, which doesn't change its density, is still more dense than the water, so it sinks. These little plastic pieces, uh, some of them are less than five millimeters in size, which makes them microplastics. And uh, people are very concerned about microplastics getting into the environment. Um, they're still working out all the toxicological details of those microplastics, but they are concerned that those plastics can carry uh, toxic materials in the in the plastics and break, carry the, the toxins into the environment. Microplastics have been found in a variety of locations uh, around the world. Uh, they tend to be they seem to be getting all the way over the place. And I think you can see that now the polystyrene is now floating on the water, on the salt water solution, which it is. So the polystyrene is less dense than the salt water solution now. And the sand, which is under the salt water solution, is more dense than the salt water.